Hello, incredible friends. My name is Megan. I'm with Incredible Techniques. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I wanna to share with you how to make this thank you card. Can you see that? All right, so today's project falls under what we call simple stamping. You can make this card in like less than five minutes with one, oh, I use two stamp sets, because one with the flowers, this was from the Timeless Textures stamp set, and then I used a different stamp set for the greeting. So you can use whatever you have. In my case, I used two stamp sets, but if you're using a stamp set that has um, both bold images and greetings, you're set, you're good to go. Um, I just used paper, ink, and just a little bit of ribbon. And you see how super cute that is? And then we also made the matching envelope. So before we get started on today's project, I wanna remind you to please subscribe to the channel and then if you enjoy this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up for the like. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So again, this is the card we're making today, a nice, quick, simple thank you card. I have not decorated the inside of this one yet, but we're gonna do that. And let's just jump in and get started. The, I'm using two different stamp sets today. The first one I'm using is the Touches of Texture. Um, and I'm gonna be using this flower. This is a uh, two sets or two case set, I should say. So in, I'm gonna be using this flower from the first case and this one from the second one. And um, that's again, touches of texture. And then for my greeting today, I'm gonna to be using one from the Thankful Thoughts. Now this particular one, the greeting came from this Friendly Expressions, which I really love this um, stamp set. It's all sentiments, but they're nice, big and bold. So they make great one layer cards like this. And that is what I wanted to show you today is that this is what we call a simple stamping technique where it's just ink, paper, and stamps. And then of course we're just gonna add a little bit of ribbon. So let's get started. I have all the cutting dimensions in the description below. Here's my card base, basic black. And then I have two layers, one for the outside that we're gonna stamp on and one for the inside for our greeting. And again, all of the measurements will be below. This card is amazingly simple. We want to show you guys how you don't need a lot of supplies. And if you're a beginner, you can still make great looking cards with just a few supplies very quickly and easily. So the color I'm using today is lovely lipstick. I've got my stamps already mounted. I'm going to ink it up really well. And then I'm just going to randomly stamp this a few times. I'm just eyeballing it. There's no rhyme or reason really. I think I'll do one more over here. And I'm trying to decide if I wanna do, I think I will do one more right there. Okay. And then I'm gonna come in with my, the other stamp in the same set. And I'm going to just sort of overlap it in places. Now, if you think that's too dark, you can stamp off a little bit. So I could try that. Yeah, that might be a little bit better. And I'm just randomly kind of stamping this over where I had it before, filling in a few blank spots. Okay, we're done with that anyway. I'm going to grab the greeting for the outside of my card, which I'm just using a simple thanks. Got my Memento black ink. Kind of center this this time. There we go. Just a quick, simple thanks. And while I have this out, let's go ahead and decorate the inside panels. This is going to be the outside panel of the card, but I want to decorate the inside panel and my two envelopes. I've got two inside panels here. Okay, so for the inside greeting, I've got this greeting. It says, Your generosity is second only to your fabulosity. On the line here, stamp down. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing for this panel that I have not yet adhered. Boom, okay, I'm gonna grab, I should have stamped all of the flowers at once, but wasn't thinking. So we'll grab our lovely lipstick again. And I'm going to grab this one since it's already mounted on the inside, although it is in black ink. I mean in black cardstock, so I think I will just do maybe just a tad then I'll do this one, this one, and then maybe do, I'll stamp off on that, just do like that. 
There we go. So we have that. And then I'm going to do the same thing to my envelope. The envelopes I might be just a little bit, I might do one, one more. Well, now I feel like I need three. Let me try doing this one. Just play around with it. We're just having fun. So in this case, I might do one there. I might do one here. And then I'm going to come in with this other one, stamp off, and do this one in the center. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. Okay, but now you have your decorated envelopes. And now we're ready to just put this together and put the ribbon on it. The inside panel on first. Just using your favorite adhesive. I prefer the Stampin' Up, what they call snail adhesive. Now I'm going to grab, I have this lovely lipstick ribbon. Cut a piece of this off. I just want to wrap it around to the back. So I just want enough to wrap and not be too close. I'm going to cut that off. And I'll grab my glue dots. I'm going to put a glue dot on each end. Okay, and then take this piece and I'm just eyeballing it. I'm just going to wrap that around and with the glue dots there on the back, that will stick really well. And then if you want, all I did for this one, I took another little piece of ribbon and I just knotted it. Um, this card will probably go in the mail. And so I don't want it to be too thick with a bow, but I wanted a little something there. And then we just trim off our ends. Um, I can go back and trim them with better scissors in a moment. Okay, but that looks okay. Got a little bit of fuzz from the ribbon. Okay, now I can put some adhesive on the back of this one layer card. And again, this is what we call simple stamping. You can make this card in under five minutes, easy. Here you go. So what do you think? Did you like this project? Did you know that you could make such a pretty card in such a quick and simple time frame? Let me know in the comments below and feel free to change up the colors and just have fun with it. You could even do multi multicolored. Um, I just thought this was the easiest, sort of monochromatic and just one stamp set and wanted to show you how easy it is to put these together. So, and then here's our inside and again, our envelope time. I hope you enjoyed today's project. I had so much fun making these cards. We made two of them. Well, I made one ahead, but you know, we've got two cards. We have the two matching envelopes ready to go. We've got the insides stamped and no kidding. You can make both of these in like five minutes, certainly one, but you know, second one might take you seven minutes tops. So what cute cards brighten someone's mailbox. We all need thank you cards. So, and I hope you enjoyed today's project. Let me know in the comments below if you would keep your card the same color tone or if you would try something different. There's all kinds of colors, obviously. Look at all those colors behind me there. So um, guys, this stamp set was from Touches of Texture. These, it's a two, 2K set and it is in the annual catalog. So if you need a catalog, reach out to me. Um, you can go to my website and fill out the contact form, request a catalog, and I'll be happy to mail you one if you're here in the United States. I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those for me as well, and I will get back to you. Right now, don't forget, there's celebration going on. We just have a few more weeks. If you're interested in joining, please reach out to me. The best thing about joining this time of year is that you can get $175 worth of product. You have two options. You get to choose any um, product that you want from the annual catalog or the celebrations or, or occasions. You, so you get to pick from any of those $175 worth. And you have two choices to either pay $99 or you can pay $129 and you get this tote. All right, so let's see if you can see. This is a nice big bag. There's, um, you know, metal feet on the bottom so your stuff isn't getting all gunky and dirty. There's pockets on the front. There's a pocket here, there's a pocket there. Nice, really thick straps with really good stitching. It's got the key fob, which look at that, isn't that pretty? Okay, and then again, we've got the pockets. We've got a zipper pocket here on the back. There's another zippered pocket that goes all the way across. This is long enough to fit your stamp and trimmer. 
and like your stamp apparatus and all kinds of tools. And then on the inside, there's, I don't know, you probably can't see this very well, but there's tons of pockets and you, these are adjustable. So you could take one out if you only wanted one, they Velcro in and you can kind of create the dividers you want. So it's really cool. So anyway, if you want to pay the one seven or pick out $175 worth of product, you pay $129 and you get this. This is a, normally a $50 value, but in the when you join Stampin' Up, you have till March, till the end of March. And when you join, if you want to choose the $129 option, then you get that tote bag. So you're basically paying $30 for that instead of $50. So it's a great deal. Plus you get your $175 worth of products plus free shipping on your starter kit and you get um, you get a paper pumpkin in your starter kit. I mean, there's just all kinds of great stuff. So head on over to the website if you're interested. If your order total is $99 or more, it is so worth just joining because then you get your 20% discount on all future orders for at least the next three or four months. That's with no commitment. If you want to stay and remain a demonstrator and keep that discount, then you do have a quarterly minimum, but it's not required. So there's nothing stopping you from joining. And who doesn't have at least $99 worth of products that they want on their wish list, right? So reach out to me if you're interested, no pressure, but I just wanna tell you about all the goodies. It's so exciting. That is how I've been able to, you know, accumulate all of the products in terms of the stamp sets, the inks, the stamp and blends, all my ribbons over here, and of course stamp sets and paper and everything else. So it's just fabulous. If you can't tell, I get really excited about it. Until next time, have an incredible week.